Let's talk about Neon Lamp Audio Oscillator. It's the Pearson Anson effect. It forms a sawtooth oscillator or a relaxation oscillator. The, the bulb here has uh, two electrodes separated by an inert gas, neon in this case, and the turn on voltage is higher than the off voltage. And this hysteresis is how the, the unit works. When the voltage is applied, the bulb has high resistance. The capacitor charges up uh, to the turn on voltage. When the voltage turns on, the resistance drops, the capacitor discharges, and then it starts over again. And that's how it oscillates. So I have a unit set up here, and I have this is a p little PZO buzzer on here. A uh, 8 ohm speaker has too much load for this little system here. This is a 500K resistor here. So I'm going to turn this on. And uh, I think you can hear it oscillating there. I don't know if you can see the lamp there or not. Now, some safety precautions here. This is uh, 90 volts DC, and I'm using a, um, a Variac transformer. It's a uh, it's an auto transformer. It's they're tapped in the center here, and uh, then I'm running it through a bridge rectifier. I do have a diode across here. Or not a diode, but I have a capacitor across here to smooth it out. Now, the trouble with this circuit is that this this is right off the mains here, okay? And it's not isolated. So, I have my, my meter here. I have it set to AC. And if I... And here's my soldering iron. This is my Heiko soldering iron. But that soldering iron, it's it's grounded. This tip is grounded. So I'm going to use that for my ground. And I'm going to go to one side of the circuit here. And I get 90, 95 volts, okay? Now I go to the other side. And I get 95 volts on that side, okay? If I touch my soldering iron to the either side of there, I'm going to blow up. I already took the fuse out of there, and I took the fuse out of my, my soldering iron by mistake. So, just because there's a transformer on here, this transformer is not isolated, and this bridge rectifier doesn't isolate. In fact, both of these have 85 volts to ground, and that's what I'm using to turn on the uh, turn on the lamp, about 85 volts. So, uh, you got to be very careful, careful there. I'm not going to stick my oscilloscope on here to see what this is. It's probably like a sawtooth uh, waveform, but wherever I put the the ground on my oscilloscope it's grounded so I can't uh, I can't tie it to either side there it'll it'll wreck my oscilloscope so I'm gonna get an isolation transformer and stick it ahead of this just so that uh, you know we could work on that but uh, so you know be very careful when you're uh, working on this kind of circuit because uh, these are both uh, have potential to ground both sides there so but that's a neon lamp audio oscillator it's an old school oscillator uh, they used to use them all the time, but, uh, you know, we can do it a lot easier now with a lot less voltage. So, uh, thank you.